Today's video will demonstrate how to create a large inheritance tree. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. Designing a large inheritance tree is all about having a good plan. More specifically, about making sure every level has a specific semantic meaning. This video will demonstrate one such example by showing how to design a large inheritance tree containing a collection of different types of vehicles. So there's a few best practices when we're working with large inheritance trees. Number one is every base class should map to a design concern. For reasons of alignment, every class should map to a design concern. Clearly communicate this in both the class name and the comment block associated with the class. Second, do not worry about balancing an inheritance tree. There is no disadvantage to an unbalanced inheritance tree, either from a technical standpoint or from a maintainability standpoint. Artificially balancing a tree can result in an inferior design. Next, each level of an inheritance tree should mean something. Levels in an inheritance tree are not created for programmer convenience, but rather because they map to a design concern. Next, unambiguously communicate the meaning of each division in an inheritance tree. What does the base class at this level mean? How can another programmer know if the base class belongs at this level? Those are the questions we should be asking. And finally, choose base class names carefully. The old adage holds, if you cannot name something, you probably don't fully understand it. This is a good indicator that the design process needs to pause until clarity is reached. So let's take a look at an example. A game wishes to create a notion of a vehicle. Each vehicle will have different defining attributes. For an example, a forklift measures usage with hours of operation, whereas cars do so with miles. There are approximately a thousand plus different types of vehicles that this game will work with. Now, the first step is to come up with a strategy for the inheritance tree. So our base class, every vehicle derives off this. It may be that there's another base class above it called game entities, but right now we're gonna start with the vehicle's base class. Next is the medium in which the vehicle travels. And this might impact the physics models. Next, we have the function of the vehicle. What purpose does this vehicle serve? How does it interact with other game entities? Next, we'll have the environment. Are there restrictions where it can be found? Can it move anywhere or not? And then we'll have the style. What is the design style of this vehicle? This impacts how passengers interact with it and other things. And then what flavor? Is there a substyle? And if so, how does that imply how it interacts with the environment? And then finally, at the very bottom, we have the vehicle, the concrete class. Okay, now that we have a fairly deep inheritance tree, let's take a look at some classes and how they belong in it. So first of all, my vehicle base class is the very beginning. Now from this, I will have land vehicles, but I'll also have air and submarine and maybe space and a bunch of other things as well. And each of these will have a different physical model, of course. Okay, let's go on the land a little bit more. So we have things that transport people, but we also have things that transport things like a, like a forklift, and we have stuff that pulls stuff like a tractor. And there could be many different types of functions. Now let's talk about the environment. Well, public roads seems like the default, but there might also be racetracks or rail. And then what kind of style do we have for public roads? We have sports cars, but we might also have minivans and sedans and compacts and pickup trucks and a variety of other things. What flavor? For my sports car, I'll have hypercars, but I might also have GTs and muscle cars as well. And finally, my concrete class. I'll have my Bugatti Hayura, but also Bugatti Chiron and a Rimac Nivera. And now that I have a, a strategy for each level, it's very easy for me to add new derived classes and base classes to extend my vehicle class as the game requires. This was example 38.3 in the Large Inheritance Tree chapter of the Software Design Textbook.